Saint Anthony Mary Claret CMF was a Spanish Catholic archbishop, missionary, confessor, and the founder of the Congregation of Missionary Sons of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, commonly called the Claritians. Catholics around the world commemorate his feast day every October 24. Anthony Maria Claret was born in Salant in the county of Bash in the province of Barcelona on December 23, 1807. He was the fifth of the eleven children of Juan and Josefa Claret. His father was a woolen manufacturer. Anthony received an elementary education in his native village and became a weaver at the age of 12. At 18, he went to Barcelona to specialize in his trade as a jacquard loom programmer. During this time, he studied and became proficient in Latin, French, and engraving. Recognizing a call to religious life, Anthony left Barcelona. He entered the diocesan seminary at Vic in 1829 and was ordained on June 13, 1835, on the feast of St. Anthony of Padua. He received a benefice in his native parish, where he continued to study theology until 1839. Later, he went to Rome to do missionary work and entered the Jesuit novitiate. However, he had to leave due to ill health. He then returned to Spain and exercised his pastoral ministry in Villadrao and Girona, attracting notice through his efforts on behalf of the poor. In an area despoiled by the Carlist civil war, he added the practice of rustic medicine to his other endeavors. During this time, Father Anthony was sent as apostolic missionary throughout Catalonia which had suffered from French invasions. He traveled from one mission to the next on foot. An eloquent preacher fluent in the Catalan language, he drew people from miles around. After a lengthy time in the pulpit, he would spend long hours in the confessional. He was said to have had the gift of discernment of consciences. In 1848, Father Anthony's life was threatened by anti-clerical enemies and he was sent to the Canary Islands where he retreated for 15 months. His missions were so well attended that he often preached from an improvised pulpit in the plaza before the church. On his return to Spain, he established the Congregation of the Missionary Sons of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, more popularly known as the Claritians, on July 16, 1849, the same feast day of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Pope Pius IX gave approval to the congregation on December 22, 1865. He also founded or drew up the rules of several communities of religious sisters. In the early 21st century, the Claritians had over 450 houses and 3,100 members, with missions in five continents. In 1849, at the request of the Spanish Crown Queen Regnant Isabella II, he was appointed Archbishop of Santiago de Cuba. During this period, the Santiago Seminary was reorganized, clerical discipline strengthened, and over 9,000 marriages were validated within the first two years of his arrival. He erected a hospital and numerous schools. Among his great initiatives were trade or vocational schools for disadvantaged children and credit unions for the use of the poor. He also wrote books about rural spirituality and agricultural methods, visited jails and hospitals, defended the oppressed, and denounced racism. On August 25, 1855, he founded the Religious of Mary Immaculate together with Maria Antonia Paris. The congregation was considered the first women's religious institute in Cuba. Because of his work, Archbishop Claret gained some opposition. At the height of this opposition, his cheek was stabbed by an assassin who was associated with Freemasonry during a visit to Holbein. Claret obtained a commutation of the assailant's death sentence to a term in prison. According to witnesses, Archbishop Claret would levitate up to six feet off the ground at times in front of credible witnesses. Other accounts suggest that he stopped a series of earthquakes in Cuba by kneeling on the ground and placing his palms to the earth while uttering prayers, calmed terrible storms by raising a hand to the sky, experienced apparitions of both Jesus and Mary and was even seen walking on water. In addition, a supernatural light that radiated from his body while he was saying Mass was seen by many. It was so intense at times that one witness said he saw the light radiate from his body behind the altar all the way to the S.A. Christi. 
Queen Isabella of Spain even produced a written statement solemnly declaring that she had personally witnessed this phenomenon. On September 3, 1859, Archbishop Claret had a vision of Jesus telling him about the three great evils, the horrifying wars, the second is the four powerful demons of pleasure, love of money, false reasoning and a will separated from God, and the chastisement that would be brought about by communism, a fledgling movement at the time. During benediction of the Blessed Sacrament in August 1861, he had another vision of Jesus saying that communism was to be the great foe of humanity and that the remedy would include devotion to the Blessed Sacrament, also known as the Eucharist, and the Rosary. In February 1857, Archbishop Claret was recalled to Spain by Queen Isabella II who made him her confessor and was appointed to the titular see of Trajanopolis. It was during this time that his influence focused solely on helping the poor and propagating learning. There, he lived in an Italian hospice. For nine years, he was the rector of the Escorial Monastic School, where he established a scientific laboratory, a museum of natural history, a library, a college, and schools of music and languages. He also founded the great religious library in Barcelona which was called Liberia Religiosa, now Liberia Claret. However, in 1868, a new revolution sent the Queen and her family including Archbishop Claret into exile to France. There he had the chance to preach in Paris. He then went to Rome and he was instructed to return to Madrid with faculties for absolving the Queen from the censures she had incurred. In 1869, he went to Rome to prepare for the First Vatican Council. However, his failing health forced him to withdraw to Prada de Confant. Shortly afterward, he retired to the Cistercian Abbey at Fontfreude, Narbonne, southern France, where he died on October 24, 1870. Anthony Mary Claret's remains were buried in the Catalan city of Vic, in the county of Asona. At the time of his death, it is said that he had written 144 books, many about the revival of the Catalan language. He was declared venerable by Pope Leo XIII in 1899. His relics were transferred to the Mission House at Vic in 1897, at which time his heart was found incorrupt. His grave is visited by many pilgrims. Anthony Mary Claret was beatified in Rome by Pope Pius XI on February 24, 1934. He was canonized 16 years later by Pope Pius XII on May 7, 1950. He was appointed as the patron saint of weavers. For more information about every saints and their feast day, please like and subscribe to our channel, House of Prayers for Everyone.